Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? What happened? You passed out on the way. We tried shaking you awake, to no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Fred, I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one, neither. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. The plan is solid, Saul. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. We're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. How's your health? Been better. So, what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few ah! strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds, but we'd be plumb fools not to take advantage. I see Night Corp's building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques. We only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? Sounds doable in theory to me. No competing ideas? Then let's get prepping. We'll need bucket loads more information. It's the only way to determine if this plan holds It'll water. It'll be full of holes no matter what we turn up, Saul. I can tell you that already. But what's the alternative? To call off the assault? To let him uh, die? Pan Am is right. We have to accept these risks, come what may. That much we owe you. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? We need a decent neck connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She's... It's... An AI. From... Ah, uh, past the black wall. Are you fully present up there? Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota. She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Mikoshi alive and in one piece. Hey, Dakota. Chamai, brother of the backers. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Ice filled tub. Favorite bit. Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vectors. Hello, Alt. 
You come alone. Johnny's currently indisposed. Currently? He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I had no choice. It was the only way I could come here, meet with you. Repression. You are good at this, and improving. Let me get this straight. Mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny. And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Hmm. Because for a second you were displeased, and I seemed a side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. This you will come to understand in Mikoshi. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side. Not so? What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. And Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set them free? They will be integrated with me. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What am I supposed to do with the shard? You must slot it into an access point. I will take care of the rest. This meeting will not be our last. Should you succeed? We got him back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 100. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> Peachy. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. That America's long gone and forgotten. Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Hey. Right now? Okay. Saul needs me. Come find us after. Will do. Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, 
We fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Afterburner. Standard nitro or military grade? Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So, nitrous oxide injection into military hardware? Heard Raffins do the same thing with their armored pickups for going after convoys. Except it isn't exactly stable. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Firepower up top. What is it? A rapid-fire 70mm multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Want to get a feel for her over the terrain. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. Talk later then, I guess. <laughs> Saul, so, you want an award? Hop up here. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. So. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. From what might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Aldecaldo, damn it. Great to Thanks have for you everything, with us, B. B. And don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Aldecaldo! Come on, V! Welcome to the family! Yeah, to say. It's about time you didn't. No, like, I really don't. Never expected this. Thank you. Don't worry, it's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. But this is still your night. So bask a bit in the newfound glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jacket? Not too tight? Snug as a are glove. You well or not? Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Elder Caldo's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. And they need some ammunition. Listen to this. Barbarians do not travel, but simply advance toward their destinations or conduct raids. Everything prepped ahead of tomorrow? No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me... If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Exactly. Or how about this? You're hoping 
because you got no choice. I want the clan to think you and Pan Am are acting as one. In other words, you're playing politics. It isn't that simple. V, I'll send these people to their deaths tomorrow. So I have to know I'm not doing it just for you, me, or Pan Am. But for the good of the clan, I get it. You'll understand eventually. That jacket wasn't for nothing. I hope so. Take care, Saul. Good night. Good night. We can conversate later. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. Seeing as Dakota seems to be feeling generous Yard today. Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end time. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Let's get back to the matter. Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Malfunction at higher altitude. Well, hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah. Hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Explain me. Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. 